you know, obviously we saw you earlier this summer. I mean, uh, frustrating one, but I mean, are, are, are there still lessons to be taken at this at this point in your career? I mean, do you still learn from fights, or you just go, ah, that happens? Yeah, man. Uh, surprisingly, there's still a lot to to learn in this game, and the last fight was definitely one of those lessons. I mean, uh, for me, the biggest thing is uh, just like getting complacent, like. Um, and it's not even like getting complacent to the point that I'm just like not going to the gym or I'm not like putting in the work that I need to put in. But for more so, it's like the uh, the number of distractions that I have around me at this point. I mean, it was almost easier being uh, 24, 25 in the UFC where literally all I had to do was take care of my dog and go to the gym and I could spend eight hours a day there and there was nothing else to prioritize uh, outside of that. Uh, but now like being in a position where like uh, I have a business outside of fighting, I have real estate outside of fighting, I have uh, two kids to worry about, I have a, a marriage to worry about. It's like all these different things that like um, aren't necessarily negatives, but they're uh, at the end of the day, they end up being distractions, uh, especially in a training camp. Um, just learning how to kind of uh, prioritize those things and still be present at the same time uh, is the difficulty. And my last fight definitely put me in a position to uh, kind of start figuring that thing out a lot more. Yeah, you kind of have to be selfish to be successful in this thing, right? I mean, have you it, were you able to find a little bit more balance this time around? Yeah, for sure. It's like, uh, to give you guys a little bit of insight, like in last fight, for example, uh, my wife was expecting our, our child to be born in the week of my fight. So for me, it was like uh, his due date was going to be June 21st. Uh, my fight was scheduled for June 25th. Um, so in my mind, I was like, okay, cool. Um, I can handle that. It's not, it's not a big deal at all. Um, I'll be present when he's born. Uh, like, all right, son, I'll see you in a couple days. Dad has a job to do. I'll, I'll be back. But at the same time, I also was like doing, working on two of my uh, uh, investment properties where I had two complete renovations going on on top of a training camp and expecting a newborn. Um, at the end of all that, my son ended up being born six weeks premature. Um, fortunately, he didn't have any like significant like health issues or anything like that. Uh, he spent two weeks in the NICU um, and he was able to come home and had no um, like significant issues at all. But uh, it, it, it ended up being like hard to, to balance it all. But like I'm not a guy to shy away from uh, from uh, uh, difficult situations or adversity. I was like, okay, cool, I got it. I can. Sorry about that. <laughs> I can figure it out. I can handle this all. Like it's not a big deal at all. Um, but the reality of it is, there's no way I can like effectively uh, be uh, a present father, be a present husband, be uh, present in training camp, and be present on two separate uh, uh, renovations and, and get those things all done well. I can do them okay. I can do them average. But uh, find the best guys in the world that can't afford to go in there with the idea of like, okay, cool. I had an okay training camp. I had an okay. Um, uh, uh, Fight week. I need to make sure that like the the training is impeccable. Like, it's, there's no flaws, no holes in it. I, I make sure I, like I check every box that I need to, and I'm going in there getting the job done. Very nice. Uh, so you had to change the schedule around a little bit. Did that affect you or impact in any way, having to delay the fight a few weeks? <laughs> no, I mean, in reality, like, getting the, uh, the notice that the fight got pushed back actually worked in my favor, where um, I had a teammate who was literally going through a lot of different uh, – uh, issues and unfortunately back in uh, August he ended up losing his brother um, and he was something that he was really struggling with immensely for a while um, and my fight getting pushed back in the timing that it did um, it kind of allowed me me to kind of have a conversation with my coach like all right cool the fight's getting uh, pushed back uh, three weeks what do you guys want me to do um, especially that the the notice came in the week of the fight like I was literally like Monday already water loaded getting ready to go fight he's like hey hey your fight is postponed hang on a second and like all right, that's a bummer. So um, putting together a plan with the coaches that are like, all right, we're going to make this a rest week. We're going to force you to kind of like not be in the gym and overdo it so you can peak at the right time or whatever. Um, it kind of like freed me out to be able to be there for my teammate. Um, and ultimately, I feel like that was the, the best place I could have been that night. I mean, uh, he and I were scheduled to fight a day apart. And I know he uh, was in a position where he definitely needed a friend to be there for him. So uh, for me, it was, a, it was a best in disguise. I was literally like excited when the fight got pushed back. I was like, oh, wait, really? I'm not fighting until November? I immediately just like jumped on the phone while I was on uh, the United app, re uh, rebooking my flight to go to his fight. So it worked out great. That's awesome. What do you think about the matchup? What is Daniel? I mean, you've seen everything, I guess, at this point in your career. But, but what, is, <laughs> what does Daniel present to you? Yeah, I mean, it's a great match. I'm definitely excited for it. I mean, uh, Daniel's definitely a talented dude. I mean, uh, to make it this far in UFC with the record he has, you definitely don't get here by being a slouch. So um, I definitely realized that, that it's a, a huge test in front of me going out here fighting Dan Rodriguez. But 
Um, I'm excited for it. I mean, I, I feel like I have a lot to prove coming off my uh, last fight, uh, and I feel like he's in a position where he wants to do the same as well uh, with the, uh, the the naysayers around his last fight. I mean, my, myself included, I was one of the guys that doubted him. So uh, I, I could definitely feel like that would be some motivation for him to come out uh, guns blazing to prove a point. And for me, that's the that's the kind of fight that excites me. I know I can't go in there and kind of like uh, coast or take it easy because there's a guy coming in there trying to knock my head off. So um, I got to go out there and do it first. Last thing for me, I just wanted to ask you, I think 10 years since the Ultimate Fighter, man, and I just, I just wondered, you know, can you put yourself back in position at that point in your career? I mean, did you think I'll be competing at the highest level of the sport in the UFC for the next decade, you know, when you're on the Ultimate Fighter? Yeah, man, it, it's like crazy to look back and see how long it's been that I've been here for now, especially like with the... Uh, uh, the way that my UFC career started, I didn't win the Ultimate Fighter, my, and my UFC career started going one and two uh, that first year, and I was like literally in a point like, all right, maybe this is as far as I, I, I've come at this sport. I literally remember walking into to training one day, uh, and I'm like, man, dude, I'm probably about to get cut. I lost two fights in a row. Uh, I haven't heard from UFC in a while. Like, it, it might be it. And Donald Cerrone at the time was just like, why don't you just email UFC now and get the train? There's nothing you can do about it anyway. So uh, you email them now, ask for a fight. They give it to you great. They cuss you great. But uh, there's no point in sitting around bitching about it right now because it's not going to change anything. So I was like, all right, you know what? You're right. Screw it. Here we go. Let's see what, let's see what happens. And um, I sent the email, sent my phone down, went ahead and trained. Uh, and after training, I had a fight in my email for... Uh, a couple weeks later, and I was like, all right, cool, absolutely, I'll do it. Uh, and I, that fight started a seven-fight win streak for me in the UFC, and it kind of like uh, catapulted my career to where it, where it is now. So I'm um, definitely grateful that I, I, I stuck with it, and I didn't make that decision to kind of uh, hang it up and move on, so to speak. So I'm definitely fortunate to be here 10 years later.